I don't care who you are. Life's going to punch you in the face. Sometimes life will take you to your knees. Sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. There will be times when you will feel alone, when you'll feel deserted, when you'll feel weak and you'll doubt yourself and other people will doubt you and you ask yourself, am I crazy? Maybe I don't have what it takes. That's going to happen. But I'll tell you something. Wouldn't it be a shame for you to stop when you've come this far? You can suffer or you can choose to do whatever you need to do to liberate yourself, whatever you need to do to reinvent yourself, whatever you need to do to overcome whatever you are stuck in right now. It does not have to be your residency. Who on this earth would still be going right now? You are, you are. You're still alive, you're still breathing. And if you're still breathing, that means you've still got some fight left in you. You keep standing. No matter how rough the sea, you keep standing. No matter what you don't give up, you keep standing. No matter what. If you are still alive, there's still room for improvement. There's still room to grow and be better. You gotta be bold in life, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not bold, if you're not standing up inside yourself, if you're not willing to call into being the highest and the strongest that's within you when you're facing life's challenges, life will trample you. Things are going to get harder. Things are going to get tougher. So what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. But see, when you discover the truth of this goodness, this power that you have within you, that truth will set you free from ever being a victim in life. That truth will enable you to handle things with a level of equanimity that will surprise you. You will be tested. And how you face that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half that I do, but still I grind. I don't care who you are. Life's going to punch you in the face. Sometimes life will take you to your knees. Sometimes you have to cry. Sometimes will hurt deep inside. In time of adversity, you don't have an obstacle to deal with. You have a choice to make. Getting unstuck means that you are going to start living life on your terms rather than just gliding through every day on automatic. That you have a special power within that you know that things are going to get better for you. You know that you can handle this. And because you want some different kind of results in your life, you've got to decide that I'm going to go all out. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, you want this? Oh, great. We want to give this to you. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. They'll say, no, you don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless. I refuse to be denied. And I'm going to go all out. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. If you dare to be great, if you dare to do something that you've never done before, if you dare to go to limits that you've never went to before, they will remember your legacy forever. We decide which moments define us. Will it be the moment we get knocked down? Or will it be the moment when we get back up? This is when we show the world what we're made of. Listen to me, you can't give up. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But if life's got you down, I need you to get up and prove them wrong. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Don't stop, don't stop. Don't stop running towards your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Don't say I'm having a bad day. Say I'm having a character building day. We're all being tested in life. Some of us later, damn, I'll find a way around the mother.
problems. It's about keeping the motivation to keep moving forward on the same exact path that you just failed. When you have fear, fear makes you think in ways you shouldn't be thinking. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. But when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. You concentrate on this opportunity. You don't worry about tomorrow. You concentrate on this opportunity with all your might. With all your soul, with all your heart, you focus on this and tomorrow will take care of itself. People who operate in darkness. They They never stop. And we have to make it our full-time job to fight back. You got to put your foot down. You got to get an attitude. You got to get fired up. Write down at least five reasons on why you won't give up. What's going to make you unstoppable? Why you must be unreasonable? Because logical, practical thinking says you can't do it today. But if you want to produce unreasonable results in your life, you've got to be an unreasonable person. You've got to be an uncommon person. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one you got to get up, look at the man in the mirror and go, this is what I'm doing today, whether they like it or not. I don't give a f***. Everybody's focusing on the stupidity things that they got on the news. Don't watch the news no more. I give you the real news. You know what the news is about today? You and how you're going to conquer the world. But you are entitled to this. You're supposed to have this. This is your calling. This is your time. When you no longer focus on the obstacles, when you no longer care what people think or what they might say, when you no longer find the need to seek their approval, it's done. When the pressure within you is greater than the pressure outside of you. And don't be disturbed because no one else can see it. That's not unusual. You've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. You need to change on how you look at those people, what they say to you. You got to start arming your mind. Start preparing yourself for what's out here in life. Build confidence, build self-esteem. So if people talk shit to you, it doesn't fucking matter. That's great power in your person. If you're a victim of any kind, make sure you use that shit to become successful. It's about going that extra step in front of the cat. That's what builds so Respect, self-esteem, self-discipline, all those things. Learn to not let life hijack your brain. Don't allow all these things to make you a lesser person. You must own your mind. Don't let life own yours. Everybody has a defining moment. Whatever your defining moment is, own it. And say to yourself, after today, I will do whatever it takes to become everything I can become. Raise the bar on yourself, challenge yourself. Expect things to be great for you because you're gonna show up differently. Fight like a warrior and die a legend.